What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Medicom Toys Mafex Justice League Batman Tactical Suit version. And so here we have Batman posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast because he comes with a lot. So Batman does come with three different head sculpts. We do have a neutral expression where he has the goggles on. We do have a grimacing expression where he has the goggles on as well. And we have a neutral expression where he has the goggles up and you can see his eyes. Batman also comes with a pair of fists, a pair of trigger finger hands for the kryptonite gun, a pair of hands for holding the weight of the kryptonite gun. We have a pair of hands to hold his grapnel gun. We have a pair of grip hands to hold the heavy grapnel gun or a smoke grenade. We do have a pair of style pose hands. Then we have a pair of hands for holding a battering. Batman also comes with three three batterings. They all look the same and they look really nice. We do get the kryptonite gun, which looks really good. I do like the coloring on it. We do have his standard grapnel gun, which looks really nice. It has the wooden handle. Then we also do get the heavy grapnel gun, which is another nice little accessory. We do get a smoke grenade, which he can hold in his grip hand. Then we have two grenades that can just be used as normal. We do have a singular grenade, which can attach to the flight stand. And of course, we do get a Mafex flight stand. So overall, Batman does come with quite a bit of accessories, and I am happy about that. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually have a closer look at Batman in his tactical suit. And so here we have a closer look at Tactical Suit Batman, and I think Mafex has done an exceptional job with this figure. There's so much to like about this figure that I can hardly find any flaws in it. They, there are some, but I'll get to that in a little bit. As far as the look of the figure goes, this looks just like Tactical Suit Batman did in Justice League. So really good job there capturing all the detailing, especially right here in his cowl. The goggles look really nice, and I do like the fact that the glass does have a nice sheen to it so it is reflective we also do get the five o'clock stubble which batman does have in the movie so really do like that and then again we get some really nice texturing right here on his cowl going all the way to the back so again really nice job with this particular cowl it has so much detail it looks really good then we move on to the neck piece of the cowl which you can see it does have a little gold clip right there it does have this uh, plastic piece going around it and this holds the cape down really do like the material they went with the cape it's almost like a pleather material I don't know if it's yeah it's kind of stretchy pleather as well so I do like that it's might be two-way stretch pleather so it's really nice and it feels really good it looks just like his cape in the movie and then we do get a wireframe but unfortunately the wireframe stops right here now that doesn't sound like an issue but you can see the wireframe is right here so it doesn't really hold the weight all too well which is a little bit unfortunate because you want this figure to hold the weight of the cape so that it, you can have it billowing out it's not a huge deal but it would have been nice if the wireframe attached somewhere down here so moving on to his armor i really did like the tech tactical suit in Justice League. This was one of my favorite suits that he wore. You can see how much detailing is on it. Although I think the Mafex version has a little too much texturing on it. It did have this texturing detail in the movie, but I think it was a little more subtle. It's a little bit uh, exaggerated here on the figure, but it still looks really good. You can see some scratches and scrapes on the armor. So it does look like this armor has seen combat. Really like the shoulder pad right here. We do have some more padding right here. And of course, this just goes over his regular bat suit. As you can see, the regular bat suit is underneath this costume. We can see the straps that hold the suit together. On the back, he really doesn't have too much armor, but you can see some strapping where it all connects onto, so that's really cool. We have his gauntlet and elbow pad, which again, you can see some more strapping, some more detailing right here where it's uh, scratched and a little bit beat up. Then of course we do have his brass knucks that he has on his regular glove. And I like that version of Batman. I do like the fact that the Batfleck has brass knucks in his glove. But yeah, we have this really nice armor plating with the straps. Really love the detail in the straps. And something I do like is that they continue the detailing even if it's cut off in the sculpt. So even if you move it, you still get that nice texturing right there. 
Utility belt is one of my favorite from any live action bat suits. It looks like a Batman utility belt, although it is a little bit plain on the back as you can see. In the movie he would have his grapnel gun right here, but there's no way to actually plug it in. It just falls off, so that is a little bit unfortunate that we don't get a little spot for the grapnel gun. That would have been so nice. Really do like the armor, how we have some smooth texturing and then the metal plating right here. Some more clips and straps going all the way around. More scraping on those knee pads. The greaves also have some nice scrapes, some texturing on it, some detailing with the straps. Really, really love the tactical suit in the movie. If you didn't like it, uh, it's understandable if you're a fan of the more traditional bad suit, but I really did love the tactical suit and I think it looks really nice. They even sculpted the, some treads underneath his boots. So really, really superb detailing here on this tactical suit Batman. One of the best that Mafex has done and he's up there in terms of detail with Flash and Cyborg. So yeah, really, really loving this Batman. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection. And so here we have Batman posed next to a Marvel Legend, Cyclops, and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Batman posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Batman posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we have the Mafex Tactical Suit Batman posed next to the Mattel Tactical Suit Batman. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at Batman's articulation. Now Batman does have a double ball joint here in the neck, so I really do like the fact that it gives you so much range, especially in the top of the head. He can turn left and right, no problem. Looks up quite a bit. Looks down, eh, pretty decently. It's not the best, but we have head tilt, moves side to side. We do have another double ball joint here at the neck, so his head can look up all the way. Ah. His neck is a little bit hindered, but you can get him to bury his chin into his chest, so I do like that. You just got to work around it, just because the cape does connect right here in the front. Again, we have a pretty decent wireframe for the cape, but because it's connecting right here and not under here, it doesn't hold its own weight, so you don't really get that really good, great pose with the cape out, but it still works for what it is. We do have a ball joint going into the shoulder, so we do have some forward and back movement. And it does appear to be a slight butterfly joint because it does pull out a little bit, as you can see. It's not just a cap covering the shoulder, it does pull out, so I do like that. His arm does appear that it only goes up that far, but just like with Superman, you can lower it uh, and tuck it in a little bit to give you just slightly more range. It could be a little bit better, but it is pretty good. It does go all the way around. We do have a bicep swivel which works fine, double bend in the elbow. We have a ball hinge here at the wrist so it does have in and out movement. We can rotate that joint to have up and down and swivel on that peg. I believe it's a double ball joint here at the torso because he does lean back pretty far and you can shift it forward and back and that's normally a sign of a double ball joint. And crunching forward he does get pretty good range. Moving to the side, no problem, really do like that. And of course it does rotate. We have rotation here at the waist. Does go back a little bit, goes forward a little bit. So combining both those, we get a pretty decent ab crunch. And of course it does pivot side to side. We have some nice rotation. Legs are on a drop down ball hinge. So when you drop them down, that's only about as far as they go forward. If you start moving it a little bit more, it goes off to the side and you can pop that leg off that joint if you're not too careful. Does go back and not that much. Out to the side there, dropping it down. We don't get too much outward movement for Batman, which is a little bit unfortunate, but he does have nice thigh swivel. Works fine. Double bend here at the knee, as you can see, works really good. And I like the fact that it doesn't get caught on itself and it just tucks in really nicely. No boot swivel, but we do have rotation here at the foot. And I believe it's a really generous double ball joint because you can see he does have really good ankle pivot going side to side. Nice rotation. And it could be better going forward, but really nice movement going back. And then we do have a toe hinge. So overall, they did a really good job with this Batman. I really do like the articulation and the accessories on it. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually pose Batman for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. 
And so here we have the Mafex Justice League Tactical Suit Batman posed for my final thoughts. And overall, this is a superb figure. One of the best Batman figures I have in my collection. I really do like the accessories he comes with. I think they're perfect. Although, they really don't make sense when you get down to it. In the movie, he never used the Kryptonite Blaster. And he never used the Heavy Grapnel Gun. Or a Smoke Grenade for that matter. But overall, I'm not upset about getting extra accessories. Especially that gives us more posing options. Now, I really do like the heads that they gave this Batman. A grimacing head looks really good. The goggles are fine. Although, I kind of wish that they gave us a head where he's not wearing the goggles. Although, I think that was only a Joss Sweden thing where the goggles came off. But I'm not 100% sure. At the time I'm making this, the, the Snyder Cut hasn't come out yet. So, I haven't seen that version of Justice League. Hopefully, it's better than what we got previously. But overall really happy with this version of Batman now if you are lucky enough to have this Batman you know how good of a figure he is now here comes a really terrible part about this figure getting hold of an authentic tactical suit Batman is a pain and I really do mean that because not only is he really sought after he is very expensive on the second-hand market you're looking to pay $220 just for the tactical suit Batman. So if you did miss out on him initially, unfortunately you do have to go secondhand market for this figure, which is unfortunate because this is a really nice figure and hopefully uh, Medicom does re-release this figure so that more people can get their hands on him, especially with the Snyder Cut coming out. Really, really did want to show off this figure before the movies came out. So hopefully by the time this video goes out, the Snyder Cut hasn't been released yet. But if it is, eh, I missed the timing on it anyway. So if you were lucky enough to get this Batman, you know how good of a figure he is. And if you're a fan of this particular look of Batman, I would strongly recommend you pick him up only if you can afford him. Otherwise, you missed out on a really good figure because $220 for a single figure is quite a bit especially when originally he was only like sixty dollars when i got him on big bad toy store it was like 90 so yeah getting him imported was about a hundred dollars but initially he was only 60 on import websites so take what you can if you really want this figure you can drop the money for him if not uh i don't know what other options i know the mezco batman sold out and the mattel one isn't really that great but that might be the only cheap option so yeah, there are very limited options when picking up this Batman. So if you do have this Batman, you know how good he is. If you are looking for him, be expecting to pay a hefty price for him. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Mafex Justice League figures. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.